passage of time, uh, I've become increasingly intrigued by the false messages that people tell themselves. And whenever you're talking about anything, it seems that they always have a personal reason why they can't do something. And it's usually a figment of their imagination. And the reason why I'm, I'm so honed in on that is because I was exactly the same. I remember when I first looked at a business which required being able to communicate in public, um, that faced my biggest fear. There were two things for me personally. I was incredibly shy and I had a childhood stammer that rendered me almost incomprehensible to anybody if I was required to absolutely have to communicate with people. But one of the things I found was if the reason for wanting to do it was strong enough then you would overcome that and um, that subsequently led to probably the biggest fear I could possibly face which was walking out onto the O2 stage uh, and facing a huge audience of people all at one time. And I see people now and they, they constantly have these illusions of the mind, these mountains of the mind that they see as insurmountable and usually that's as a result of something that's happened in their past or in their childhood. And they are just delusions, they're self-delusional because with practice, and with training, and with desire, almost any of those things can be overcome. And I've seen people over the years do just that. Anything from a physical handicap, um, you know, I've seen people who, who uh, can't hear, people who have limbs missing, people who have educational deficiencies, um, overcome that and be highly successful. I've also seen people who have all the equipment but waste it. And that's even a sadder thing in many ways. So when I'm talking to people, they'll usually voice at one point or another their reason, their personal reason, that makes them quake inside at the thought of doing perhaps what we do. And it's false. It's false. And one of the joys is helping them overcome it. And I, my mind is drawn back. There was a moment in time. Um, we'd been doing the business for about seven years. Um, and we went out for a walk and we loaned part of our house to one of our managers who wanted to do a group training. And this young lady was very, very fearful of speaking in public. She was very, very fearful of the fact that she hadn't had a good education and she would be talking to a lot of people who were well educated. And as I walked back down the drive, I looked towards the house and I saw her standing at the easel speaking and illustrating her points to the people who were enthralled by what she was saying. And I have to admit, there was a lump in the throat and there was a tear in the eye. And I thought, that can't be a bad thing to be involved in, helping people to become more. Because why should they be limited? Why should they be conditioned by other people's opinions and by self-opinion that has been fostered by being taken in the wrong direction?